Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make this adorable Shopkins character cake. Her name is Wishes and she's an actual cake, which is probably why she's one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to make for our Wishes cake are her beautiful candles. You want to make these first to give them plenty of time to dry before you actually make the cake. Here I'm rolling out some blue gum paste into a long worm about a half an inch in diameter. I'm going to go ahead and do the same with this nice deep pink color. These are the two colors that make up her candles. This next technique is a lot of fun. I'm simply going to twist these two colors together and I'm moving my fingers in opposite directions and I'm just squeezing really really tight and twisting until I feel that everything's nice and stuck together. Give it a nice little roll to make sure it's not going to open up on you. I'm going to trim one end with my straight blade. That'll be one of the ends to my candle. Here I'm measuring out my candlestick to about four and a half inches in length. I realized a little bit later on that that was a little too long, so you'll see me make the correction here in a little bit. Now I'm just adding a tiny bit of glue between the two colors on both ends of the stick just to make sure that it doesn't want to open up on me later on. Now I'm going to stick a long skewer through the entire candlestick and just very carefully make sure that you're inserting it right in the center and as you can see I have my fingers holding my candlestick gently make sure it comes out right in the middle at the top and notice I'm twisting the skewer and pushing it slowly at the same time. Once the skewer is sticking out about an inch and a half you can go ahead and stop. You're going to need a total of five candles for wishes. For the flame we're going to use a nice yellow gum paste. I'm going to roll it into a perfect ball first and then into a nice fat teardrop shape. Add a little bit of glue to the top of your candlestick and then insert this here right in the center. Gently twist and push down on the flame. As I'm making these candlesticks, I'm letting them stand on a dummy cake so that they can go ahead and start drying. So I realize that three inches in length is actually the perfect length for these candlesticks. They're really not that tall. So here I am trimming my candlestick to three inches. I love it when I get to use my non-toxic mungyo chalks and my favorite brushes. Remember you can find all the links to all the tools and materials underneath this video. So here I'm using this really nice brush that has very nice tight bristles and I'm using it to dust the inner and outer parts of the flame. If you've never tried hand dusting color to your toppers before, I highly recommend it. It is so much fun. I want to rub out some of the definition to give our flame a really nice look, so I'm just going to wrap some Kleenex around my finger to do this. I'm going to use one of my favorite black edible markers to draw the wick at the center of the flame. You can draw each wick a little bit differently for each one of your candles. This next part is super fun. I just love making icing swirls. For this, you're just going to take some white gum paste, roll it into a long tube. Make sure that you make both ends nice and pointy. To make the cute icing swirl shape, you're simply going to curl the end and begin to twist it around and stack it on top of itself till you get to the very top. Add a tiny bit of glue to the tip just to make sure it stays put. Same goes with the bottom. Perfect. I'm going to add some beautiful pearl shimmer using one of my favorite loose bristled brushes. This makes your icing swirls look even prettier. To start decorating my wishes cake, I'm going to cover a 6 inch cake tier. I'm using a beautiful yellow fondant, same color as we use for the flames. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out my step by step tutorial on how I cover cakes and fondant. Now I'm using my measuring tape to measure the circumference of my cake tier. And now I'm going to use some white fondant to make the white icing that's supposed to be squirting out between Wish's cake layers. Here I rolled out a really long tube about one inch in diameter and now I'm gently pressing it down with my hands to semi flatten it. I'm cutting one end straight and now I'm using my silicone mat to help me measure out where I need to make my cut. Here I'm using one of my favorite blade tools to make some angled indentations all along this piece. I'm being very careful not to press down too hard. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally cut this. Mm, pretty cool. Now I'm just going to brush a little bit of water all around my cake where the icing will go. Next I'm just going to carefully add the icing little by little all the way around making sure that I'm pressing firmly to make sure that it stays. 
don't worry about it moving around on you too much it will want to of course move down slowly but you just do your best to hold it and nudge it into place until you don't see it moving anymore just like that remember you're the boss you tell the cake what to do now we need to figure out the size of our pink icing on our cake so I'm simply tracing the top of the cake onto some parchment paper. Now I'm cutting out my tracing and rolling out some nice hot pink fondant. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my blade and measure one inch all the way around from my tracing. This is as far down as I want the drizzle to hang off the edge of my cake. Now I'm just gonna carefully cut out a nice drizzle pattern all the way around. You can get as creative as you'd like, just make sure that you don't pass your one inch mark. That looks like a lot of fun. It is. Pretty cool. Before I go any further, I wanna go ahead and stack my cake on top of my pretty fondant covered board. Be sure to check out our tutorials on how to cover boards with fondant and also how to stack cakes without damage. Now I'm ready to add my pink icing to my cake. So once I've placed it where I want it, I'm just adding a little bit of water with my brush. For the small pieces of fondant hanging over the edge, as you can see, I'm just adding a little tiny bit of water underneath and just gently pressing it down on the side of the cake. All I need to do now is give it a nice smooth over and I'm done with the icing drizzle. Let's make her smile. All you're gonna need to do is roll out some thin black gum paste and use a two inch oval cutter. And use your thumbs to give the bottom of the smile a little pinch. Use the side of your cutter to trim off the top. For her adorable little tongue, just take a pea-sized ball of red gum paste and press it down gently with your fingertip. Add a little bit of glue to the back of it and place it right at the bottom of her smile. Here I'm turning it over and using my awesome straight blade to cut off any overhang. Next we're going to be making her super cute teeth. For this you just need a gumball size of white gum paste, roll it into a tube, take your rolling pin to semi flatten it, and the bottom of the teeth should go slightly over the top of the tongue. Here I realize the mouth is a little bit too big so I'm just cutting off a little bit more at the top, add a little bit of glue to the back of the teeth and place it on the mouth. Once again I'm trimming off the excess. Now I'm going to add the smile to the front of my cake. I'm placing this fairly low, about one inch from the bottom, and slightly tilted to the left. To finish off her cute smile, we're going to make her lips. I'm going to start with the bottom lips. So for this, I'm just going to use a gumball-sized piece of gum paste. This is a nice pale brown, and I'm going to roll it into a long, thin tube. Now I'm just carefully placing her lip all around the bottom of her mouth, making sure it's nice and flush. Use your straight blade to trim off any excess. We're gonna do the same thing for the upper lip, but this one's gonna be a lot shorter. Go ahead and measure how much you need and then make sure that both ends are nice and pointy. I'm carefully adding the top lip and making sure that it's nice and flush to the top of her mouth. Then I'm gonna be sure to squeeze and pinch the little edges together. That way she has a cute little smile. All she needs now is an adorable little dimple. So for this, I've just rolled out a little tiny worm and made it pointy on both ends. Place her dimple on the corner of her mouth. For her cute little nose, I've rolled out a small piece of gum paste, and this is gonna be about the same size as the dimple. Only difference is it's not pointy. So I've arched it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add it right on top of her mouth. Super cute. For her eyebrows, I'm rolling out two black balls of gum paste, a little bit bigger than the size of a pea, and roll each one into a tube, about two inches long. Then I'm semi-flattening the sides, and I'm gonna go ahead and arch both of them. To place them on my cake, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the back of each one and try and place the eyes as level as possible with the nose. This will make her look like she's laughing. When placing the second eye, make sure it's nice and level with the first eye. Tap them down and make sure they're not going anywhere. Looking cute, baby. Thank you, baby. Wishes has the cutest little eyelashes, so for this, you're just gonna roll out two little balls of black gum paste roll them into a teardrop shape and semi-flatten them. Then you're gonna cut the bottom of each one nice and straight. Now just add a little bit of glue to the back of each eyelash and you're gonna place it almost near the end of the eye. Isn't that adorable? Too adorable. 
Now we're gonna make her cute little eyebrows. So for this, you just need two little balls of brown gum paste. And all you're gonna do is roll them into thin tubes and make sure both ends are pointy. Then you're gonna arch each one. Because these are so little, it's a lot easier just to add a little bit of glue to your cake and then you can place the eyebrows where you think they'll look really cute. Now I want to give Wishes some beautiful rosy cheeks. So for this I'm going to mix some red pearl shimmer dust with some cornstarch to tone it down a little bit. I don't want her cheeks too red. And I'm using one of my favorite loose bristled brushes. I'm being very careful to add little by little because it's very tough to remove once it's on there. I think that's a perfect amount of rosiness on her cheeks. Since we're on a roll with dusting, let's go ahead and add the shading to the icing that's supposed to be squirting out between her cake layers. I'm using brown petal dust and once again I'm going to tone it down a bit by mixing it up with some cornstarch. Use some tissue paper to cover up your cake while doing this to avoid getting brown dust all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of dust in the indentations that I made all the way around my cake. Just be sure not to be too heavy handed. Just like that. Now I'm just going to carefully add a little bit of shading to the top of the icing, all the way around. Nice! Wishes has the most adorable little arms. For this you're just going to need two balls of the same colored fondant that you use to cover your cake. Roll them each into a long teardrop shape and semi-flatten with the palm of your hand. We want to arch each one of these arms before we actually glue them on the cake. To add these to your cake, you can either use water or edible glue. And be sure when you're placing it on there, you want the little hand to be slightly underneath the eye. This is so cute. Make sure you really tap it into place to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Look how great she's come together, sweetie. Do you like her? Like her? I love her. I'm so excited. Now we get to finally put our beautiful candles on. You want to start by making sure that you place the very first one exactly in the middle at the very back of the cake. For the remaining four, you want to just space them out evenly and make sure that you leave plenty of room in between them to be able to add our beautiful icing swirls. I like to use royal icing to add large decorations like these to my cakes, especially if they're already completely dried, like these icing swirls. All you need is just a little tiny squirt of royal icing at the bottom and then just place them in between your candles. How cute is that? Now she's really happy. Now all Wishes needs are her beautiful blue sprinkles and for this I'm going to use the same blue that I used to make her candles. All I did was roll out a long tube and I'm going to cut it into tiny little sprinkle sizes. Always better to make more than enough. Here we are. Now we're just going to add our sprinkles one by one. It's a lot of fun figuring out where we should put these. You really can't go wrong, huh? Not at all. I mean, just don't glue one right over her eye. <laughs> we are done. Now all we need to do is give her a beautiful shine to clean her up. We're using our favorite little steamer. Look how beautiful she looks. You couldn't wish for a more beautiful cake. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, everybody. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all later.